So we of course all know that later this year, we'll get the next mainline Assassin's Creed game in our hands, whether that is a physical copy or a digital copy. But thinking of it now, will Assassin's Creed Shadows be a success? Now what I mean by success is purely sales wise, not the actual game itself. The sure answer is in my opinion yes, yes it will be a success in sales. In fact I can kind of see this game being the most sold Assassin's Creed game to date and I'll explain exactly why in this video. But first, I need to say that whatever people's opinions are with Assassin's Creed Shadows, whether it's the Holy Aske controversy, the romance stuff, the inaccuracies in the time period or just whatever it is, at the end of the day it's an Assassin's Creed game and it is going to sell well regardless. You might hate the fact that I just said that, but that's just the truth. You know, I've noticed a lot of people often overestimate the influence of websites like Reddit and Twitter. Opinions shared on these sites have minimal impact on overall game sales. Despite being very vocal, and I mean very vocal, the users on these platforms represent a tiny niche audience. But you see, the problem is this vocal minority can kind of create the illusion that their opinions are more influential than they actually are, leading many to mistakenly believe that these views will massively affect sales. But in reality, the broader market is much larger, and the opinions from users on these websites do not have that much influence at all. I mean just a few months ago when the reveal trailer for this game was released, it topped Amazon's PS5 bestseller list in Japan, the UK, Germany and was also high in France and the USA, despite a lot of mixed reactions online. Even Tom Henderson, one of the most well reputable people when it comes to leaks and just gaming statistics said Assassin's Creed Shadow sales are looking very strong. So just remember, the internet is not real life. Anyway now that I've said all of that, let's get into why I personally believe that Assassin's Creed Shadows will sell well. Now the first reason I believe this game will sell well is because of the style of game it is, which is of course an RPG game. If we take a look at this sales figure, which is compiled through a lot of sources such as Ubisoft themselves, VG Charts, GameStat, Superdata and other sources, we can see that there is a clear increase in first week sales post Syndicate. And why is that? Well we do know that Unity released an absolute terrible state, which affected the sales of Syndicate as it made it the worst launch for an Assassin's Creed game to date. So this practically meant people were put off from the franchise because of Unity. And also this is what a lot of people don't realise is that the franchise, whether you agree with this or not, was getting quite stale at this point. In fact just by looking at this graph, we can clearly see the gradual decline in first week sales. So Ubisoft had to act fast. Then Assassin's Creed Origins was released, which was the first massive change in the franchise. And after that the sales of games like Odyssey, Valhalla and Eva Mirage were quite successful. But to be fair, I do believe that Covid played a massive part in why Valhalla was so successful in terms of sales. So it is tough for Shadows to beat Valhalla sales. But I do think it's possible. Since Assassin's Creed Shadows will also be an open world RPG game, this is something that appeals to a majority of people. And yes, I know the fans of AC that have been around since Assassin's Creed 1 think differently, but these are opinions and voices don't affect sales as I previously said. The thing with RPG games is that they are created to be as accessible as possible to everyone, so there's always going to be a guarantee in sales. But that's just the first of many reasons I believe this game will sell well. The next and one of the main reasons why this game will sell well is because of where the game is taking place which is Feudal Japan. This was a setting that I genuinely remember back when AC3 was released that so many people were asking for. It's just the idea of samurai, shoguns, ninjas, shinobis and just everything Feudal Japan related is something that everyone can get behind because of how period rich this time was. And yes there is going to be a lot and I mean a lot of Ghost of Tsushima comparisons which is completely valid. In fact even I compare certain aspects of this game to Ghost of Tsushima because I'd be lying if I said they did not take inspiration inspiration from that game. But apart from the actual feudal Japan setting, what we also need to realise is that Japan's gaming market typically shows a weaker performance for western video games. However when it comes to games that are set in Japan, they do tend to perform exceptionally well. This could be because of cultural resonance and just a more local appeal. So Assassin's Creed Shadows also has the backing of the Japan gaming market, as shown by the fact that it was number one at one point on Amazon Japan. Another big reason is the timing of the release. Assassin's Creed Shadows is set to launch in November 2024, which is perfect because 2024 is a huge year for Eastern Asian media. There's the TV show Shogun, the game Rise of the Ronin, the PC port for Ghost of Tsushima and also Black Myth Wukong. Plus there might even be an announcement for Ghost of Tsushima 2. All these releases are putting Eastern Asian themes in the spotlight, making it a great time for Assassin's Creed Shadows to come out. I mean if it was released in 2025 then automatically that's an L, considering that GTA 6 is releasing that year and we all know that's an automatic game of the year. And in my opinion I think every game that releases in 2025 is going to be massively overshadowed by the fact that GTA 6 is also releasing that year. 
One other thing I have to mention as to why I think this game will sell well is due to what we've already seen and the information that we already know. For starters, the game runs on a new engine version that upgrades both visuals and gameplay. This situation is kind of what I'd expect to be on a similar scale to Rogue and Unity and how both of those games were massively different despite releasing the same year. Also, I personally think that the gameplay we saw for Shadows at Ubisoft Forward looks a lot better than the gameplay that we saw for Valhalla's pre-release. There's also the fact that this game has improved stealth compared to the past few games. Now we're able to hide in shadows and bushes, making stealth gameplay even more engaging and rewarding. I feel like this fits perfectly with the game's feudal Japan themes. There's also the fact that this game introduces destructible environments. You can break down walls and barriers, creating new paths or exposing enemies, which makes the world feel more interactive and I can definitely see this giving you creative ways to tackle missions. Even the grapple hook which is another new addition. It's not like Assassin's Creed Syndicate where it's only fixated on a certain point, but instead it's completely physics based and just by looking at the gameplay for this that's even more reasons people would want to play this game as it's different. And then there's also a dual protagonist system allowing you to choose between two characters Nawe and Yasuke with unique abilities and playstyles. This is a second in the franchise where we have two alternating protagonists. It was done quite well in Syndicate to be fair and I can only imagine it will be quite officially integrated in Shadows. Now replayability is something I look for in these larger open world games and the fact that both Nawe and Yasuke have entirely different playstyles and you're able to choose between them to take on different missions and enemy castles is something that helps massively. Imagine on your first playthrough you could take on an enemy castle with Nawe at night time taking advantage of all the stealth opportunities and then perhaps on a new game you could take on that same castle with Yasuke but instead just use pure melee combat. I feel like that would be quite fun. There's a pretty famous phrase that was said by P.T. Barnum in which he stated there's no such thing as bad publicity. We have to remember that even negative attention is beneficial because it keeps the subject in the public eye. This concept is extremely relevant to Assassin's Creed Shadows for quite a few reasons. Firstly, any kind of buzz whether it's positive or negative increases visibility. If people are simply talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows just like I am, whether they are praising it or criticizing it, it's going to keep the game relevant and in the spotlight. This can lead to more people wanting to try out for themselves, either out of genuine interest or sheer curiosity. You see controversy or strong opinions often drive engagement, leading to increased discussions on social media, forums and whatnot. Take the Twitch streamer Asman Gold for example, he's a massive streamer. He's expressed his opinions on Assassin's Creed Shadows and fair enough everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But answer me this, do you think the negative attention he brought towards the game will harm the sales of it at all? Absolutely not. In fact don't be surprised if Ubisoft developers had a fat grin on their face after seeing what he said. There is no such thing as bad publicity. Secondly, the phenomenon of quote unquote hate playing comes into play. Even if a lot of people are skeptical or critical of Assassin's Creed Shadows, they might still play the game to see if their criticisms are valid or to take part in the broader conversation about the game. And at the end of the day, what did these people do? They contributed to a sale for this game. Now I get it, I'm well aware this video will receive more dislikes than usual and that's fine. Just talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows in any type of positive way really does piss people off. There will also be somebody commenting, remember no pre-orders, but in reality, who are they talking to? Nobody is seeing their comment and if they do, they scroll without thinking twice. This also does not affect sales at all. Also one thing I have to say in regards to a comment like that is please be respectful and do not tell people what they should do with their money. But what I'm really trying to get at here is the internet is not a real place. Just remember that. We're in a generation where the internet is massive and it's practically taking over, meaning you will see more negativity than usual sadly. I might sound old with what I'm about to say, but I remember the days when gaming felt more like a tight-knit community, less influenced by the sometimes toxic environment we see on social media today. It is pretty unfortunate that we're seeing a lot of people who suddenly have an interest in Japanese history forcing their negative opinions on this game. You know, there's a the whole Yasuke is woke, Assassin's Creed Shadow is racist, now it looks like a man, which was the one that got me genuinely confused. There's the LGBTQ controversy, Japan apparently hates Assassin's Creed Shadows, there's people fabricating fake bot comments in Japanese to make it look like they hate the game, and uh, oh speaking of fake, there was something recently that I found hilarious where a fake, yes a fake person that lived in USA, gave himself the name Kenji Yamamoto on Twitter and laughed as a Japanese historian to promote hate for the game. Do you know how sad what I just said is? The tweets that he was making resulted in hundreds of thousands to millions of views on his posts all over Twitter, all because he 
fake being a Japanese historian to incite more hate for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Sadly, a lot of people fell for it without fact checking, but at the end of the day, all this negative attention is putting more eyes on Assassin's Creed Shadows. Oh, and one more thing I have to get off my chest is the pricing of the game. Now straight off the bat, yes, the price of the Ultimate Edition is absurd and outrageous. I won't deny that. But one thing I find quite weird is when people ask what the price of Assassin's Creed Shadows is, the response somebody would always give is $130 instead of saying the $70 base game price. It's a strange thing people have been doing. We also have to remember that inflation is real and we're not in the early 2000s anymore. Look at it this way. The average cost of a game released for a console such as the NES in the 90s was $50, which in today's day and age is equivalent to $120. This means that when adjusted for inflation, games are technically cheaper now than they were almost 30 years ago. So perhaps games have always been expensive since the 90s. We also need to factor in that the gaming industry has evolved a lot, with advancements in technology, game development costs, the rise of digital distribution, and the introduction of microtransactions and DLC. So as bad as this sounds, a $70 price tag is considered normal. Look at games like Starfield, Jedi Survivor, Dead Island 2, Redfall, which is a bad game, Call of Duty, Forspoken, another bad game, Final Fantasy 7, and many others. These are all $70 games. Video games being this price, is a reality we have to accept and in 10 years from now games will likely be even more expensive which is unfortunate I know but that's quite literally the way the world works. So there you have it. This was a video I just had to make as I felt like it was needed, especially the last segment where I kind of had to rant. Let me know down in the comments below where you think Assassin's Creed Shadows will rank in terms of sales. Do you think it's going to be a success or do you think it's just going to flop? Let's have a constructive conversation instead of commenting Assassin's Creed Shadows bad, duh. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.